What is good, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I want to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube viewers. Elusive Fox, Goliath Burrito, Saravix, Manuk D02, Crispy Bacon, Julian Hernandez, Christian Simpson, Felix Osborne, William Fate Ward, Joseph Allen, Aaron Bates, XS7, Marcus 303, R. Griffin, Andrew Larman, Brady, Brian Imica Njoku, Zyman K, A7503, JK844, Ash, T. Sunset, Charlie Wren, Timothy Kuene, and Border Byron. And I would also like to give a big shout out to our executive producers, Bevan Brummett and Hades Belt, and welcome our new executive producers, Tavon and Alaskan Josh. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to become a Patreon supporter, feel free to click the link in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. Tell ho, lads! <laughs> <laughs> Lifesaver time, baby. Use the force, young Padawan. Oh my god! <laughs> Here we go, my god. Yep, we got ourselves a- <laughs> so Dead quick. So the last uh, Jordan Persigati video that we watched was the one where he uh, basically turned all these Disney characters into horrific amalgamations of just... Awesome. Yes. Yeah. That's that's the word I can best use, sister. I just didn't want to didn't want to like undersell Jordan and his work. I mean, I I bow before you, my good friend uh, Jordan. I, mean, I probably undersell a lot of things, but when I use the words <coughs> that I use, I mean that they're I, I mean it in a way as to, so it's not meant to undersell it. If I say something's awesome, I mean. usually think it's really 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 good or cool because mm -hmm. I mean. If it's okay, I'm honest, and I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. And I guess the number one thing that I that I think you all took away from that is that Jordan has a well of just different stuff that he can tie into these and make them absolutely, like, unforgettable. Yeah. And I love that. Mm -hmm. I love, uh, and I know that he just released the Pokemon one, which, if y'all want to, we will do that one eventually, but... But right now, uh, I was looking on our Discord and uh, ones that were requested of us, and a bunch of people requested the one that we'd already watched. And then I saw someone else request this one. I'm like, oh, okay, we'll do this one. And uh, yeah, it's like for those of like for those of you out there on our Discord who are watching and are noticing, oh hey, they're reacting to Jordan Persigati. If you are wondering about the mo the previous one, I'll have a playlist created on our channel, and you can uh, go and watch both, you know, watch them whenever you want to at your own leisure. But for right now, we have uh, The Horror Artist versus a $2 Disney Frozen Coloring Book. Do you want to build a snowman? Jordan's gonna make it. Jordan's gonna make it die. <laughs> Just uh, brings to mind the betraying the martyrs cover of "Let It Go." Oh gosh! Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, Which is awesome, actually. <laughs> I had a bit of an issue with this camera here recently, where it doesn't want to focus. Thankfully, I have someone sitting on the front row, and also someone who's sitting on the back row that I can help, like dial the focus in. There we go. Now I can see both. The, now I can see both rows easily. Woo! <laughs> so okay. Now if something makes me angry, he'll be able to focus on this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> Jordan, he does not speak for all of us. No, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he won't make me angry. Oh, like this, oh you're talking uh, about me. Yeah, like you. Like. I because uh, I'm always looking over here at the screen, and if I see you doing the middle finger, I'll just be like, hey, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he just brings it on the screen anyway. Uh, all right, so we got the video queued up here. Let's, uh, oh, that's right. Forgot. I actually, display capture should be, whoa, wrong one. Uh, Eternity. Yeah, that's the, the infinite, the infinite void of the internet. Okay. I think that's... Yeah, that's centered enough there. Okay, this is Jordan Persigati. Horror Artist versus $2 uh, Disney Frozen Coloring Book. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. Hello, everyone. 
In today's family friendly art video, I'm going to be drawing some of my favorite characters from Disney's Frozen. I'll be drawing wholesome pictures. So if you'd like to draw along, <laughs> have your pencils and join me on another art journey. I'm just kidding. I'm going to be drawing some absolutely horrific stuff in this $2 Disney Frozen coloring book. A quick warning before we get into the creepy drawings. If you're new to my channel, first off, subscribe. I upload new videos every single week and that way you don't miss out. But also, I'm going to be drawing some creepy stuff in this. So if you've somehow stumbled across this video expecting something very different, here's your warning to click off the video right now and go watch something else because it's gonna get nasty. And also a quick warning for anyone who has trypophobia. One of the artworks in this video, I'm drawing multiple pictures, but one of them in particular may be a little bit triggering, so I'll give a, another warning before we get up to that. And you can skip that one if trypophobia isn't your thing. And let's be honest, trypophobia isn't anyone's thing. It's disgusting, so I understand if you wanna skip that one. That's coming up. First off, let's do a lovely, colourful drawing, as the colouring book was intended. And then, we're going to spiral down into depravity with the next drawings. Let's enjoy this happy moment while it lasts, because it won't last long. <laughs> There's the oh, kitty. There's the kitty, girl. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Here's an example of something pretty to, uh... that you could draw if you weren't a twisted individual such as myself. That's not why Here you, guys we go. Here. you guys want to see some creepy stuff, and that's what I'm going to do. Have you ever wondered what Olaf the Snowman would look like if he wasn't made out of snow, but instead made out of human flesh, blood, oh. and mm. sinew? The normal answer would be no, but we don't do it all on the channel here. We draw the creepiest stuff we can, and what's more creepy than a Momo meat puppet version of Olaf? Oh, Momo? Is more creepy no. Than that. Plus, he's got some giant stakes he's gonna, I don't know, impale people with. Yeah, this video is getting dark real quick. Ah, bloody tears again. Very nice. I actually looked up who uh, did the music for the for this version of Bloody Tears, and it's a artist named Mew. Uh, he, uh... A lot of his stuff is royalty free, so uh, feel free to use it. <laughs> Look at that. Here's a lovely picture of Momo Laugh with his meat puppet minions. Momo Laugh. <laughs> Next like up, that. I'm going Hell to be yeah. drawing Little Rock. And if you have trypophobia, Here's your warning. Ah, uh, don't watch all the holes. If you can't handle it, feel free to skip ahead to the next drawing. But for everyone else, enjoy. I don't know how secrets. true it is, but I actually heard that trypophobia was an actually unproven puppets, thing. Or is that just me? It's like more of a socially distributed, uh, quote-unquote phobia than anything. It's more well, like people like drew a bunch of holes and stuff and showed it to people and we're just like, hey, look, this is creepy. And they're like, yes, that is creepy. Oh, I have trypophobia. Mm. Uh, pe like, honestly, I'm not sure if that's true or not. Though. I'm not trying either. to like, if you actually have a phobia of that, I'm not trying to like, you know, under hand, like whatever the word is for it. Like I'm not trying to d diminish it. your phobia or anything. I'm terrified of sharks. For reasons I see that this like, and I don't, other people and might I'm not be like, terrified I'm of like, sharks. Oh, so they turned his head into Swiss cheese. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I think he's going with the Junji Ito holes reference. Yeah. So uh, there's like a little artifact that whenever someone gets a hold of, it does that to them. There's also a phobia out there called Ithalophobia. You want to know what that is? Yeah. It's the fear of... Uh, phallus-shaped things. The fear of, like, hot dogs, long sticks with no branches, mm -hmm. uh, heck, even, even, you know, penises. <laughs> so people wow. are, imagine, like, imagine, like, having one and being afraid of it. Oh, oh God! Right. Um, I don't know if I should say this or not, but I actually had an ex that had that. <laughs> really? Yeah. What was his name? <laughs> I 
Sorry, Nick. I'm not saying her name. I'm joking. I'm joking. You don't have to. I was but, just being, uh, I was as being one an could asshole. assume, we never ended up doing anything of a uh, nature that would involve such a thing because of that. So. <laughs> no. Oh. Dude. <laughs> wow. I love the eyes on this one. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're sunken in eyes. Uh, just we add so much to the I love that. Drawing complete. Oh, We're going to move on to something <laughs> a little less gross. In this one, I'm going to give Olaf another horror makeover. But keep him a snowman. He's just the evil type of snowman that he's little kids. So he's Jack Frost? So he's like the evil version of Jack Frost, or... I mean, look at the ones in his in his hands. The ones in his hands are like, oh god, he's gonna eat us. We're dead. It's like a horror version of Silver Bell. Which is pretty cool because it also happens to be one of the very few Christmas songs I actually still like. Me and Zach, we when we were learning to play like uh, Christmas Eve Sarajevo twelve twenty four by uh, Trans Siberian Orchestra, this like Carol of the Bells is one of the parts of it. Oh, yeah, Carol of the Bells, not Silver Bells. My bad. Silver Bells is actually a different song. This version of Olaf has been getting revenge for all the snow cones children have been eating over the years. <laughs> Damn. He also likes the color red, especially on fresh snow. And for the final drawing of this video, I'm transforming the already terrifying line work of Anna with her bed head and it's just amping it up into something even more crazy. So, so we're taking the hair to the next level. Lots of line work, lots of craziness, and... I don't know, maybe later there will also be some blood. Basically, nice. he's doing like the Witcher 3 hair works mod on this. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's Exorcist. <laughs> Movie I was not allowed to watch as a kid. But I did anyway. Yeah, my mom hates that movie. <laughs> so did my parents. That was another movie I ended up watching as a college student when I was renting all kinds of horror movies. I When I went over to hang out at Daniel and Jesse's house, their dad had The Exorcist, and I watched it with them, and I had fun. It was not too Mom, can you get me covered? Come on. video i hope you enjoyed it had some fun and if you do enjoy content like this you should definitely subscribe i upload new videos every single week where i draw horror related art sometimes silly stuff like this sometimes be more serious regardless of all that i want to thank you all for supporting my channel i really appreciate it and it's really big good on those eyes awesome patrons like, oh yeah for supporting my channel that little uh, bit extra. oh the eyes i mean just thank they look so, so much, realistic catch you in the next video it's well again like 
the the coloring, the shading, like how he like adds the shadows on the sides, mm -hmm. and just the 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 white parts of the uh, mm -hmm. eye shine, like they're brighter white than the paper itself, pretty much. Yes. Yeah. So like it kind of really brings out the shine of the eyes, makes them look like they're actually real. Damn, dude. Yeah, I, that was that was really good. Again, every time he does one of these, I just I just can't help but just. Give me your I can really see his uh, inspiration from Junji because. Like he puts a lot of emphasis on like the very fine details of the drawing to bring out the creepiness of it. Like he spends a lot of freaking time on the little bitty line work and stuff. I wish so bad that I had any idea how to do that. I'm very uh jelly. <laughs> Here's a comment for you. That was just disturbing. More please. So I tried drawing like horror stuff from like probably I would say I was drawing from like at least fourth grade through college and just never seemed to get any better at it for some reason well there was that one thing you did in college that literally was so good the, the teacher it was an illustrator copy it was just recreating a photograph but still that's good yeah but I can't make things come out of my brain onto paper like whatever is in my brain it doesn't come out half as detailed or good on paper by the time it leaves my brain I think it's my ADD that makes that happen maybe I don't know because like whatever I had in my mind just goes poof before I finish the drawing I get that but also it's just it's always felt very difficult for me to keep my hands like doing what I want them to do on the paper and stuff like mm -hmm. I, I make mistakes a shit ton like, you know, try to draw a line one way and it goes a different fucking way for some reason. I, I don't know. It's almost, I almost feel like I have some sort of disconnect when it comes to trying to put ink on paper. There's some sort of problem where my brain will not do it the way I want it done. And like, I've practiced for literally like years and years and years and it just never seemed like it got any better. Cause they say like, Oh, it takes practice. It takes practice. It takes practice. I mean, I don't know how much practice they're talking, but it it's a either lot. a fuck ton. Enough. It's either a fuck ton more than I did, which was a lot, or I have some sort of problem where my practice doesn't take hold and actually build with the uh, drawing for some reason. Huh? It happens. It's always been disconcerting. Like I've always wished that I could put stuff like that on a piece of paper, and it's just never been. Something well, I'm able dude, to do. it happens to the best of us. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I I think to myself, oh, you know, what I've written here, this is great, this is amazing, I love it, and then uh, I take it to at at the time my English teacher, and my English teacher's just like, okay, it's all right, it's okay. I was like. I'm like, well, how do I, how do I do, do better at this? And he's like, practice, keep writing, keep doing what you're doing. And I'm just like, but I've been doing this for years. How much longer will it take? He's like, I, like, how much more practice do I need? And my teacher said, enough. That's, that's basically, like. It's basically you, you do it until you cannot make a mistake. That's how I. I mean, and also, you can learn from your mistakes as oh, well. Oh. Um, like, you know, you don't like how it turned out, like the ending product, well, do it better next time, you know? Okay, see, I, it up. I have everyone out for my throat whenever I say stuff like this, but it is my personal theory, and you can feel free to disagree with me, call me stupid, say I'm full of shit, whatever, but I believe everyone has different talents and oh. talents involve the ability for your brain personally to take practice and utilize the practice in an efficient manner. And depending on what the different talent is, you may be able to practice every day, 24 hours a day for a month and be a fucking 
genius at what you're doing. Like mm-hmm. that may be mm-hmm. enough for you to not be able to make a mistake, a mistake, or you may practice every day, 24 hours for the rest of your life and never fucking get to that same level that mm-hmm. people who are masters of that craft do, because it's something you don't technically have a talent for. And, and pe- like people argue with me all the time. They're like, no, 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 no. That's not how that works. And I'm just like, but in my personal experience, there are things that I feel like I have practiced as much as other things that I've gotten to a point where I feel like I'm more, I'm either above average or close to mastering that talent to an extent. And I I got nowhere with it. Well, like guitar being one of the main ones. And I know guitar is an incredibly complex instrument and like, you know, I, but drawings, another one, like I drew all the goddamn time. It was like my fucking hobby from like a kid to like an adult, basically besides Mm -hmm. video games like it was my second hobby and it just it never got better like i don't understand like and the the only the only way i can rationalize that to myself is assuming that i just am not talented in the area of drawing i i can guarantee you you look at preschool nick when he first started drawing versus the nick in college yeah i I mean like did that project the the gap in as like, a kid you learn some basics be... and fundamentals and everything and even when I was in college like I did see an improvement when I tried very very hard for one project like I was like this is the point where I'm like I got to put this on like the professional level like you know because I'm working towards being a professional and so I put everything I knew how to do and everything I had into this one picture and then I still looked at it after the fact and I was like. Yeah, it's way better than anything I did in high school, but it's still god off, god fucking awful. Like, it's, or that's just you being self defeating. I mean, yeah, it, it does like not look like I do that. I used to do that. It does not look like anything time. that I have ever seen make it into like a professional like video game movie, <laughs> like anything like that. It does not look close to those level of concept arts that like the professionals so, actually do. So, what about video games like Super Meat Boy? I mean, that's very basic, very simple. And all that, and yet it's like one of the highest selling games of all time. Same thing with Minecraft. Minecraft, and that's for its simple. gameplay. It's and not necessarily that it sells just for its well, art no, style. Well, no, because it's artwork, dude. I mean, because Super Meat Boy is its own style of art. Same thing with Minecraft. Same thing yeah. with uh, same thing with Mega Man. Same thing with uh, friggin' uh, Witcher. Same thing with Elden Ring. Everything's got its own style of art, and what you're holding up to a standard. Versus what's realistic. I mean, look, I wish our YouTube channel was as big as, say, PewDiePie. And, you know, and and there's some people out there who say, oh, yeah, your channel should be big as PewDiePie. It's like, no, PewDiePie found his niche. PewDiePie, PewDiePie found his audience, and he's as big as he is now because he literally hit the algorithm. And, got, and, and here's the thing. I do believe there's some credible evidence in the water to your argument that there are some people who just have a better talent for something than others. I do agree with that 100% because, me, I played guitar for two years. I had played guitar for two years. Things were, I was thought I was doing good. But then, Zach picked up a guitar. Six months later, he was better than me. Like, and, and here's the thing. I told myself... I played guitar not, for... It's because, you're not, it's because you're not practicing enough. Oh, it's because of this. Oh, it's because of that. No, it is literally because Zach has a better mind for that than I do. Yeah. And that's not... Because I play guitar no for... Admitting that. But... 13 years straight. But that doesn't mean straight. you just need to stop because there are people out there who are lightning fast and can play... And can play like every riff known to man. Speed is a tool. Speed is not the end game of guitar. I mean, hell, Robert Johnson... Played notoriously slow. Same thing with Bo Diddley. Same thing with uh, uh, Muddy Waters. Same thing with all these guitarists. Mm-hmm. And it's not about how fast you are. It is about the impact that your that your art has on others. Say, people could look at a thing by Junji Ito and it could freak them out. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. It freaks me out. But then they could look at something drawn by you and just be like, Oh, who's this character? What's this character's name? What does he do? Is this... and And they're interested by that. But I want to be able to draw things that are creepy like that. I don't want to be able to put the same level of detail into it. I can't even properly shade. I've never figured out how. I've tried so many times, it doesn't click in my brain. (laughs) And in all honesty, maybe that's just a forte that you're not going to be able to master. And, hell, I'm not going to be able to master a lot of things. 
I mean, it's way too late. I wish I could have, uh, back when I was a kid, I wish I could have picked up uh, doing a, a video, like video uh, creation like this. If I had picked this up when I was in high school, I can only imagine where I'd be right now. Same thing if I would have done it when I first recommended it to, uh, to Jesse when we first started doing online video creation. I was like, hey, what if we start doing YouTube? Nah, YouTube, YouTube's not going anywhere. YouTube, yeah. We can't really post anything on YouTube because it won't go anywhere. And I mean, I've wondered right. if it's like the tools that I've had or like whatever. Because I mean, like all I've ever really had to draw with is just like regular ass pencils and like at best a basic set of drawing pencils. Well, And maybe. I've like seen them do drawings like with his blood, right? Like I'm pretty sure that's a Copic marker he's yes. using for his blood. Because he's able to start putting it on very lightly, and then it darkens, like, in spots and everything like that. Every time I've ever tried to do a drawing, every fucking line on the page has looked the same thickness and darkness to me. Like, and I don't know if that's just my brain, like, thinking that, but, like, I cannot get differentiations and like, highlights and shadows and stuff like that. Like, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> Again. I just wish I could be better at art. <laughs> it's just my point. <laughs> No one is ever going to be a master of everything. No mm. one. And, I mean, I guarantee you, Jordan probably wishes, you know, I wish I could play piano like Mew, uh, f like how he plays Bloody Tears, but I'm not able to do that right now. And maybe he did try piano and it didn't work out for him. I mean, same or thing Or maybe with he can. We don't really know. I don't know. That's the thing. <laughs> I don't know enough about Jordan to really say that for sure. <laughs> I don't know either. But I just know he's a kick-ass artist. Either way, though, we got to move on from this, everybody. What did you all think of the video, Doubt? Uh, let us know in the comments down below. Uh, and, uh, oh, look at Callie. She, she can't make up her mind where she wants to go. She's like, Mommy, can She's I get like, back I'm in the blanket? She's like, I'm not sure what this thing is. Just being a kitty yeah, with yeah. tons of energy. There you go. Come on. Callie. Come on. Callie. Come there we go. Come on. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, okay. Mm. She can't make up her mind what she wants to do. I think I pet her head, and then she's like, oh, I got pets up here, though. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to move on, everyone. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick. We'll see you later, everybody. Peace. Back, back, turn back to pay. Right, right, right. Be so rough. Times is tough. Like, like, stay, stay, stay. Times is hard. Like, like, stay, stay, stay. Back, back, turn back to pay. Right, right, right. Be so rough. Times is tough. Like, stay, stay, stay.